Cleveland Farrell. Again, tell me the 49ers don't have a type going after another Raiders defensive lineman that just didn't pan out with a bad organization that is a incredible top draft pedigree. I had a top 10 grade on him as well. And so this is a guy that I really, really, really like um, coming out of the draft. You know, one of my favorite things about him was just he was all everything. And, you know, they voted him team captain, permanent team captain with two years left, back-to-back uh, -back all Americans. I mean, the dude was just bananas good. And whatever, he got drafted probably a little too high, uh, fourth overall in the 2019 draft to the Raiders. But he's only 25 years old. He will be turning 26 before the season. But I really like Cleveland Farrell. And, you know, you look at 6'4", 264, 34-inch arms, He's a good player. He's got 10 career sacks. And it's almost, how do I say this? He's got a very similar career trajectory as Solomon Thomas, just for another team coming to our team, right? Fourth pick, Solomon Thomas, third pick, whatever else. Um, but, you know, he, he's not getting the playing time that he wants. He only started four games this past year. He's a situational rusher. And the games that he started is whenever injuries happened to um, Chandler Jones. So, you know, he does get his hands uh, on a lot of passes, 11 passes defensed. Uh, but, yeah, 10 sacks, not great. Only two sacks last year. But now he's going to get the coaching. Yeah, Coach Cruz, yeah. He, he says Cleveland Farrell's going to flourish under Kucerich, one of the best coaches in the NFL, position coaches. I think that's huge. Uh, 32 quarterback hits, I think that's great. Um, 15 tackles for losses. He's going to be a rotational guy. So you have to put Cleveland Farrell in the Kerry Hyder view. Like, that's the role he's going to be playing. Can play a little bit inside, can play a little bit outside, uh, stout against the run, never put the pass rush together. But you got him for a $2.5 million deal. One year, $2.5 million. This is a rehabilitation program for Raiders uncoached players. And so you bring this cat in. You allow him to – I would put the over-under at four sacks this year, right? If he goes out there as a situational guy, gets four sacks, he's going to go somewhere else just like Arden Key did, just like Charles O'Minnie did, just like – I mean, we keep doing the same thing, and I love it. It's value bin shopping and, you know, finding a way to get these guys to come in that have struggled elsewhere, right? Um, but I, I like the guy. I really do. I, I love the human. You know, let me read my draft write-up on him. Okay, I was very high on him. Um, I was really, really high on him. Uh, probably too high. But anyway, powerful edge defender with a great anticipatory first step. Ideal for a 4-3. Again, this is my pre-draft write-up before he got drafted. Amazingly violent hands. Creates separation on almost every play. Uh, versus the run and pass thicker than other top edge players in this draft is the most punishing tackler. He was mean, man. Um, effort instincts are elite, uh, but uh, pretty big for an edge guy. I, I, like he just looks big and he carries a lot of weight. So again, carry Hyder. You can play inside, you can play outside. Um, let's see here. 50 tackle for loss, 27 career sacks in three years as a starter. Lots of quarterback hits, uh, sack takes place on second or third counter moves. That was my issue. He never won early. It was effort, 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 effort. And that was a big deal for me. And that seems to continue to be the, the trend for him in the NFL. Um, prefers the speed uh, to move the pass rusher and several counter moves, which I like. Uh, lacks elite speed and bend. But elite production, still power, effort, instincts. Military kid, youngest of nine. He did tear his ACL back in 2014. Um, really like this guy. And my player comp, as far as like body and play style, he definitely did not live up to this, was Justin Smith. He, he's almost identical to Justin Smith size-wise, strength-wise, measures-wise, even play style-wise. He just never got the production. Uh, do I see him being a tid sack guy? God, no. Uh, again, I had, you got two and a half, two sacks last year, one and a half sack 2021, two sacks 2020. His rookie year, he had four and a half sacks. So, again, I, I'd put the over under at four, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, but I like Cleveland. Super cheap deal. Uh, the question always is 
you know, I always get asked this. What do you think about player so-and-so? I'm like, all right, yeah, he's an NFL player. I like him. But how much? Are you getting a value? Are you paying a premium? You look at Javon Hargrave, who's amazing. You played, you paid a premium. You paid top dollar for top dollar talent. Cleveland Farrell, you played bottom dollar for a, and you got a good value, right? So he can outplay that contract. The NFL goes about two million per sack. That, that's the average like rate, right? So like if a player gets five sacks, they're usually going to get a $10 million deal. It doesn't always work out that way, but whatever. So you're looking at, if I, I'm expecting Cleveland Farrell to get about four sacks this year, that should be an $8 million deal. You got him for two and a half. You see what I'm saying? So this is, you are underpaying for the production that you should be able to get from this guy. The 49ers Rush Podcast.